problem is Alstead is that my daughter's in jail. Oh, juvenile custody, Mrs. Tyler. Let's not exaggerate. All right. Now, uh, you show up Friday at, uh, at 1 o'clock for Karen's hearing. Kelly. Uh, her first name is Kelly. Kelly Jameson. Yeah, right. That's what it says. 1 o'clock on Friday. I've never worked with a public defender. Um, do we need to meet before so you can prepare me or anything? Oh, well, this case is a cinch. Just be there. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Excuse me, I thought this was Judge Kelter's courtroom. It is. I was told to be here for hearing at 1 o'clock. What's your name? Kelly Jamison. Oh, yeah, here it is. That hearing's at 10 o'clock, and the case was continued. What do you mean? Well, it means the next hearing will be in two weeks. Oh, there must be some mistake. Miss Elstad told me that the hearing was at 1 o'clock, and, well, it's 1 o'clock. It's over, ma'am. The girl's mother didn't show up. No, but I'm the girl's mother, and I'm here. Hearing's over. But where's Kelly? She's back in juvenile custody. No. I only wanted her to be there overnight. I never filed charges, and I certainly never intended for her to stay in jail. But she's been charged with assault. I want to take her home. Her hearing's in two weeks. You can't keep a girl in jail for two weeks because someone made a mistake about the time. Look, Mrs. Heiler, there is nothing I can do until the next hearing. Well, get her out What then. do you mean? I don't understand. I'm sorry. These things happen. But you told me... Yeah. Ms. Elstad, I'd like to ask Tyler. Hi. Are you ready to take Kelly home? Yes, of course. Well then, let's get started. Your Honor, we're not contesting the charges. What does that mean? Shh, Mother. We have a recommendation from the court appointed psychologist. Uh, yes, Your Honor. After holding extensive interviews with both Kelly and her mother, uh, it is my opinion that there's obvious expressed and unexpressed rage and resentment between mother and daughter. Mm, I see the mother didn't even show up for Kelly's first hearing. No. Uh, well, uh, Your Honor, there was a mix-up about the time. I was there when I was supposed to be, but the time was wrong. Uh, well, Your Honor, I agree with both Laura Heiler and Kelly Jameson that the, uh, the mother-daughter relationship is highly problematical. I also see there's a prior record. This is not encouraging. Is there anything you wish to add, Mrs. Heiler? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We all really want Kelly to come home. And until she started hanging out with the wrong kids, she was doing well in school, and there was never any trouble at home. So, in other words, everything was just fine until she met this boy. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. And if there's anything that you could do to keep that boy away from Kelly... You mean you'd like a restraining order? Yes. Mrs. Heiler, one boy doesn't make a good girl a criminal. There must have been warning signs which you overlooked. Kelly, would you like to say anything? Would it make a difference? It may. My mother freaked. She sent me to this place because she didn't know what else to do. If she knew how to be a real mother, none of this would have ever happened. Mom, you know that's true. I see. These will be the terms of Kelly's probation. Kelly, you are not to associate with anyone who has a criminal record. That includes this... Jacob Priest, your current boyfriend. Do you understand me, Kelly? Yes. And you are to follow the rules and the regulations of the facility in which you are placed. But I want to go home. Sending you back to the same environment would only worsen an already serious situation. I'm remanding you to the Northside Adolescent Center, and I hope it brings about some change. All right, who's next? No! Let's go, Miss. Mom! Baby! Mom, do something! Leave me alone! Kelly. 